Hello everyone. So in this video, we will add a timeline slicer to our Power BI report. In order to do that, first we will go to get more visuals and click here. Now search for timeline slicer. Here it is. Select it. And click on add. Now our slicer has been imported successfully. I'll click OK and we select the timeline. Now here we have to give it the timeline. So in the time, I will put the start date. Start date. And here you can see that you can also do it by year, by quarter by month, by week, week one for each, week two, and even by day. Let's keep it as month. Now we will keep it as month and we will go and try to modify it. In format your visuals, you can do a force selection if you want. For example, here we can do it on the latest available period. If I select it, it will go to October only because October was the latest one, but I will remove that. I will click here. You can select the first day of the week. We can put it as Monday. If you are putting it the day time. In the fiscal year, you can start put when it is going to start. You can change the font and the color of the header. So here you can see, or you can just remove the header. If you want to keep it, you can keep it as it is. So it is showing October 2022 till 2023. In the cells, you can change the color. Let's change it to a little dark. And we can also bring it a bit down. Similarly, you can do other formatting like how it will be visible, the granularity level, year visible on, quarter visible. We can remove that. You can keep the remove week and day. So here also you can see it's all going. You can change the display color, the uh, the first size of the display. And in general, simply you can put title or you can just remove it and how you format any Power BI visual. And this is how you create a timeline slicer. I can filter it if I want. I click and it go back. I hope this helped. Please do keep watching for more. Thank you.